All right. I've been preaching for the last couple of days. Again, since last month, I said, don't chase, don't chase, don't chase, don't chase. And again, there's some people that did chase. I didn't say don't go long. It's two different things. But what I said is if you do go long, you make sure that you have a proper entry. You just don't say, I'm missing out. Everybody's getting in because I guarantee you there's somebody that got in on this date because it's a shit. It breaks out. Boom. Now they gap down. They said that the market's rigged. It ain't rigged. Your ass just didn't take the proper entry. Now, hopefully you didn't risk much. You didn't know full position. I don't care if you said you scaled or not. It wasn't shit to scale. Um, so you got to just be careful. Again, with this pullback, I'm not going to say that this is a top or anything like that. I need some more type of price. Uh, again, this is the hard short. I'm waiting for it to come down. Maybe, you know, give me something else. Actually, ideally for it to get under this level of the 202.14 level, uh, retrace back and then, you know, go down if that's where I'm looking to go. On the weekly, we have discussed that it's still in an uptrend and we're not going to fight that. Okay, we, again, but we said that it's overextended. We know that this was uh, 10%. We're not going to let it get to 10%. Whoever the Fed or whoever just it didn't get to 10% because it's automatic uh, sell programs at that level. They didn't let it get to 10% and they ripped it all the way up for one, two, three, four, 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 five weeks in a row. It's just a matter of a need to retrace me. If you're looking to get long, you take a better entry to get long. You don't just get long uh, just for the sake of doing so. QQQ, we see, again, we just have one. Again, there's no way that you can say that this is a top or this is anything other than a retracement for today. Okay, you would need more price ver verification for it to, to give you something else. Again, if you're really, I, I'm not that aggressive. Again, I want to see what's going to happen over the next couple of days and uh, go from there. IWM did, however, uh, continue with itself from this engulfing that we talked about at this previous level that I posted the video. Some of you might not have watched it because I posted a, it an odd time because it was just on the weekend. But it's continuing to show uh, some weakness here and based off this previous uh, high. So, again, you, <clears throat> it is what it is. And again, we see the rip. We see that maybe you, some people, if you got in, you have to tighten your stops and maybe you got stopped out. And that's that's cool. Okay. Diamond, last and usually least because the least amount of names in there. Uh, didn't show much. Again, it's not really showing. It's just as a sideways type of, of movement. If you look at the 30 minute for the diamond, you could see that it just pretty much just went, you know, sideways. Again, this is not a lot of price action for you to really work with. And this is why your ass does not need to chase. Apple is a prime example. I told people to start tightening their stops around the 17th. It, it continued up. It continued up. So, um, a friend of mine took a half or three quarters of a position there. I was like, shit, it's still going up. Broke this high. Shit, it went up. But it's to say, not that it shouldn't get up, but he's entering around here. He's entering. He actually entered. He, he trades a little bit different than me, but he was adding to his position on here. So he made a shitload of money over the last couple of days. But again, it wasn't to say, okay, if you got in here, you just tighten your stop up. I, like I said, I was showing that this thing was or was up, you know, what? 20, 24, 25%. I mean, how much more did you think it was going to go in a straight line? This is all stop taking. This is all for the chasers to get knocked out. If you stop in your, you, you put your stop under, let's say here, thank God it didn't gap down. Okay, so it didn't really, hopefully it didn't hurt many people. But we have to continue to look at that. Google. Google's continuing to go down. Uh, Andy, good job. Uh, you know, it, it's continuing to go down and it looks like it's continuing to definitely hit these previous lows and go further, quite honestly. Um, you see there's a lot of support, a lot of buying was done at this this level twice, but this is going to be a third time. So if it gets down there, it definitely looks to be the weaker uh, looking week. Groupon, we talked about this. Again, I said if it was breaking this low and it closed near the lows, which is actually really, really good for you if you're short. Break of this, this um excuse me, this uh, low of the, um, Friday, and it continued and closed near the lows of the day. So this is still looking good, unless you get some craziness uh, overnight. But you can see on the 30 minute, it gapped down and pretty much just stay there. Again, uh, you know, just don't overcomplicate things, um, which is sometimes very hard to do. Uh, I won't say that's an easy thing. But again, um, you have this Tesla, the move. Like I said, we did the bar count. You can check that. I think I did that Thursday or Friday. 
uh, it took so many bars up and it took almost that same amount of bars it took let's say 31 bars down it took like 31 to get and it was only halfway and I was saying listen sometimes you can use the bar count to help you with things and, and this is a case where it did help so again be cautious initiating loans just don't say like the, the thing that I don't want anybody to do is you don't get long just because it's here you say shit it has to break at least the high of 420 424 47 before i would initiate a loan my stop would be under here you don't just go yet tomorrow and say shit i'm long because how much lower can it go that's when you get railed over the you know you know reamed over the coals or whatever the hell they call it uh, you're gonna get your ass kicked is what they should call it and that's not what you you want to kind of wait for some type of verification to go from there and some people might oh that's soft trading that's cool i wait for a proper set if it's stopping me out the best thing that i could do when i get stopped out is look at the trade and say i would take that trade again and then you got a repeatable strategy that you could take again 50 percent is all i'm looking for regarding my win loss ratio and i'll crush it reason being is because i only want three to one or better for my trades so again if i'm half i lose a hundred I want to make 300. I lose a thousand. I want to make 3,000. If I'm halfway in, that means that I can lose two out of three and still make a thousand dollars for the day. Okay, just kind of thinking of it like that. Or hundred dollars. I lose two out of three. I'm still making a hundred dollars for the day, and that's when you could start getting a business. So again, we said not to chase. I've been saying it. Again, I'm not saying it to tout now like, oh, I'm right. I'm right. I'm right. I'm just saying, listen, if you if, I, if you were long, cool, but don't take an entry. At such an extended time period because you feel like you're missing out okay uh, you know fuck all this black friday shit that they're talking about i think it's bullshit quite honestly it's just some news to justify what they're saying you didn't have to take black friday said it was going to be a damn retracement coming okay we just didn't know when but you didn't it's not to say all oh, the black friday sales are down 11 percent so this is why it's happening rubbish okay it's a 10 percent move 12 percent move from lows of 10 15 that just need a break okay so again does that mean you miss out on some longs yes because you're willing to make sure that you can get that three because remember your risk war ratio if you let's let's use this as an example if i get in here right now risk let's say i risk the difference between this let's say it's four dollars but if i get in here i still have to put my stop underneath here so then it might make this instead of being a three to one to, up to this it's going to make it a one to one up to there that's a harder trade and that's when you got you're, you're chasing so again you know we'll see what happens tomorrow and uh go from there but uh again don't chase just because you have a retracement doesn't mean buying a dip doesn't mean you see a red candle and it doesn't mean that you just buy this that's dumb trading you'll get holes for it so be careful